Hello everyone, this is JJC13 here, and today I'll do a quick review of the iPod Nano 6th generation. Now this one is the red product, as you can see here, and if I move this phone to the side, um, first I'll do a uh, quick specs of the iPod. So uh, the height is 37.5 millimeters, uh, the width is 40.9 millimeters, uh the depth is 8.78 millimeters the weight is 21.1 grams and the volume is 10.056 cubic millimeters um the capacity that you can have this iPod in is 8 gigabyte and 16 gigabytes uh the display is a 1.54 inch uh color TFT display uh, 240 by 240 pixels resolution uh, uh, with with width a 220 pixel per inch uh, audio playback uh, the frequency response is from 20 Hertz to 20,000 Hertz the audio format uh, well that's uh, AC 8 to 320 uh, kilobytes per second uh, protected AC from iTunes Store, uh, MP3, VBR, things like that. Um, in this iPod, you get FM radio. If I go here, you get radio right there. So you need headphones to put, to use it. But uh, you get radio on that with. Uh, with uh, settings with uh, America, Asia, Australia, Europe, and Japan. Um, live pause features. Yeah, there's a accelerometer, accelerometer with uh, Nike Plus right here. Uh, the battery and power is built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Up to 24 hours of music playback when fully charged. Uh, charging via USB cable, which is this one right here. This one's, this one's a bit chewed up, but uh, the 30 pin dock right here to USB. I don't know if the lighting is great, I'll uh, adjust it a bit. There. Uh, uh, fast charge. Yeah, not important. Uh, if I turn this off, uh, languages, you get 29 different languages, uh, the, um, what comes in the box, which I don't have, is the iPod Nano, the earbuds, which are these, crap, anyways, uh, the, those crap, uh, dock connector, which is the USB, and the quick start guide, which I lost, um, the earbuds, I'm not going to talk about them, but if you want to know the frequency response of uh, these um, earbuds, it's from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, and the impedance is 30, 30, 32 ohms. My god, I can't speak English today. Anyways, um, that's basically it for the specs. So, um, you can get them in many different colors, such as black uh gray red which i got right here blue green i think purple pink and uh stuff like that so i'm just going to show you uh music basically what music does so you got genius mix playlist artist album songs genre composers uh compilations audiobook and podcast and itunes u so, um, basically what you do, just click, and then you got your whole, uh, whole music, uh, list right here, so I'll put my favorite song right now. Now, there's no speakers on this iPod, which sucks, because on the fifth generation, there was an iPod, uh, there was a speaker. But on this one, there's none, because it's, they, it's so tiny. And, um, since it's so tiny, they could add a clip. Cool is that? It's very useful. Um, 
so uh, that's music. Uh, then you got everything, albums, you get all your albums. There's no cover flow on this, which I find a bit surprising, but uh, I never used it. So there's the radio, like I showed you, but you need headphones, so as soon as I plug in headphones right here. There you go, now you got the radio. So you can switch tracks. Alright, and so when headphones with a microphone, because these are not the original earbuds that came with it, when you plug in headphones with a uh, control with a microphone at the back, uh, there's a third, well, there's voice memos that appears, so you can uh, register stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you got now playing, which comes basically to the song you're playing. There's that settings with a couple options there. Let you figure that out. There's clock. A lot of people uh, use this as a clock, where on on a uh, uh, kind of wristband thing. Uh, you can customize it. Then you got your uh, stopwatch. Um, that's a timer, and uh, that's pretty much it for that. There's photos. You can add in photos. I don't have any because. Uh, never look at pictures then there's Nike Plus it's just you walk run history whatever it's uh, count your steps I think I don't know I don't use it um, then there's podcast I don't have podcast and then there's voice memos so um, the buttons that are on this iPod are the uh, volume controls are right here up and down and there's your there's your sleep weight button like that and there's uh, something else uh, I want to show you let's say you're uh, you go to songs and something and then you click on a song and you want to go back instead of flipping through all the way to home menu you can just go I'll go the same thing you just hold down and it'll come back so that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, another feature um, that I really liked is uh, that uh, you you can switch your the side on the screen. So let's say you clip it on and it's on and it's like this. You can just switch the screen and there you go. And let's say it's upside down. Try it again. Ta da! Okay, you guys already seen this, but there. And then back to normal. Oop. Sometimes it's hard. There you go. So, um, um, there's uh, the 30 pin dock at the bottom. Headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter. Um, and this, what I like about this iPod compared to the old, well, the old iPods, um, is that um, if you have, let's say, a remote, it works. Oops, oh boy. Um, cause you guys won't be able to see this, but if you look up close in there, there's three pins, three kind of pins that stick out. Four, three pins like this. If you have uh, another phone or something, or an an old iPod which doesn't doesn't uh, support your remote, that's because it only has two pins. Anyways, I just, anyways, yeah. So, um, as you can see. This is the red product. Uh, phones go to some organization. I have no clue which one. And uh, there's a clip. I know this might sound pretty boring right now, but I don't know what to say about this. So, um, yeah. I wouldn't say it's the best iPod. I think the fifth one was a bit better. I don't know. Because appar apparently, uh, in what I heard um, in a couple YouTube videos, is that every third generation, they want to make it square. So the third generation was a square also. And then this one's a square. And then probably the ninth will be a square too. So we'll see. And that was pretty much it for 
the iPod Nano 6th generation. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. It will help me out a bunch. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.